And I wanted to talk about these uh, dog attacks and the reaction to them. And let's have a look at this quote from the breeder of those two rottweilers that uh, mauled the owner in Perth the other day. The dog breeder says, we don't breed dogs for fighting. We don't breed dogs for security. We mainly breed them for show and to place them in family units. Yeah, we get that, but sometimes they really hurt people. And uh, there's a, a mm. good case, surely, Liz, to ban some of these dangerous breeds. Nah, I don't go for this. It's a nature versus nurture argument. And I just don't believe that there are innately evil dogs. People say, oh, they're bred for this, they're bred for that. Okay, then explain to me how, like, nine out of ten pit bulls, more than that, live long lives, no incident whatsoever, they're happy, go lucky, fine. Same with Rottweilers. So and to say, to oh, we've just in... got to make these dogs extinct, you're just as it's just nonsensical. You're just as happy to step into a backyard with a Rottweiler as you are with a poodle? I think that, yeah, I would be. Depending <laughs> on the owner, because oh, I believe what if the it is nurture. Got neck tattoos? I believe it is nurture, <laughs> not nature. Oh, well. And that's why some of some people who are attracted to the idea of having a very vicious dog buy these breeds, and yeah. then it's a very unfortunate marriage of convenience. This is what they're bred for, Justin. A lot of these breeds, they're bred because they're tough and aggressive and fighters, just as others are bred for, you know, duck hunting and the like. Yeah, they're dangerous. And, and there's also, you do see the similarities in some of these uh, owners. I, I feel like an American Second Amendment argument coming on here <laughs> when you talk about the right to own dangerous dogs. It's like the, uh, the right to bear arms because you want to do it for home security purposes and that's all well and good till someone ends up dead in the gutter. Yeah, I think, look, I'm not sure if, if totally banning them. I'd like to see whether it's some form of greater education or greater responsibility put back on these owners. But because they're, look, let's be totally frank, there are some dead set halfwits that get to buy these dogs. Exactly. So it's like owners, saying. But there's some shockers. It's yeah, like saying, let's get rid of, of cars because some people drive them really recklessly uh, and yeah. kill others. I've known. I've I'm known, sorry, I've it's got very, the responsibility is on the sensible, owner, not I've the known dog. Very sensible and very diligent dog owners whose dogs are psychopaths and dangerous. And it happens all the well, time. Well, then if they're responsible and owners, they put go, the dog down. They should. I don't want my kids going to the park and have to take their chances with somebody's pit bull or Rottweiler or Alsatian. But that's fair enough. And well, it falls yeah. on the owner to do the right thing if they know that they've got a psycho dog. Well, <laughs> psycho dog. Well, exactly. And there are penalties, actually. The interesting thing is that there's a lot of penalties available to councils and state governments, police forces, over dog ownership. But well, that's cold comfort have... when someone's been attacked, isn't well, it? Well, it's like, oh, here's a fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. The damage is done. It is a problem. So now, now just... you're in the spirit, Liz. Now you're in the spirit. No, Just no, to... I'm simply saying still not the dog's fault. I'm looking at the owner. If you raised it right, treated it right, yeah. and it's still, you you know it has those proclivities, the responsibility yeah, on. is how on many, you How many times have we seen that? a dog Just attack and then they say, oh, he's never bitten anybody yeah. before. They he's always saw... been so lovely. I've yeah, because they know it's their responsibility. So, of course, they're going to say that this came out of nowhere. We've never noticed anything. F good friends of mine put down their sheepdog because they brought it here to Sydney. It was a beautiful sheepdog called Tess, but just kept nipping people to the point that they bled. It wasn't just a well, love right. bite. Right, well, they should have put it down sooner. So they oh, had wow. to. Once it happened twice, they were just like, Fit right in, Tess. in Sydney then. Yeah, very sad, but Why? that's the responsible thing to do. It is all on the owner. It's all on the owner, but unfortunately, innocent people get hurt, and so taking the dog out of the equation, guess what? You don't get hurt.